Hey, it's Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com down here in Denver. Beautiful summer day. I think it's still about 94, 96 degrees, something like that. And uh, headed for uh, Phoenix this weekend. So anyway, I got a box, and um, this was clear back. I've, I've been traveling, been busy. Uh, Buck and Bear, B-U-C-K-N-B-E-A-R knives. Buck and Bear knives. And uh, so anyways, that was a Land of Blade show. And I got a box. They said they were going to send me some stuff. And uh, would I please, uh, you know, unwrap it um, and do a, a, you know, preview of, of what they have and everything and kind of assess it and look at them a little bit. And I don't have a lot of time tonight, so let's just look and see what they sent me. And um, so, uh, okay, that's going to tear. I wonder if you can give me just a second here and see. Okay, that's. Uh, Rip it up and tape it back on. Uh, yeah, well, it's turned the paper and everything, so let's see. Okay, maybe that's all right. And then uh, we'll just tape it back on. All right, so something like this. <laughs> all right. Get ready to fly so I deliberately don't have my pocket knife with me. Um, yeah, there's one right there, the old pinky there. So we'll just cut that paper right there. Ooh, good looking box. Um, you know, that's really nice. We'll just hold still here for a second and let you look there. Okay, this evidently is called the Lynx. All right, there's the number if you want to order one just like mine. And uh, Buck and Bear Knives. So, uh, Okay, that must be getting to be the deal now. The magnets um, holds that on, holds it shut. Nice box. Uh, wow, that's a nice knife. I've seen some of these knives at the uh, Blade Show. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. It's good and heavy. It's nice and thick. Got the opener there, the links. Uh, it's got the frame lock. And there, it's got pretty good size hand, uh, you know, handle. It's got the thumb uh, kind of grips there. That really bites, that grip's pretty good right there. And it got a big enough finger guard here so you don't just slip off of it at all. And um, that's actually really nice, good nice. Uh, it's got the clip on it for your pocket. So that's a pretty good deal. And uh, it's got a tie uh, eyelet back there. That's a pretty good deal, I like that. Um, it seems to kind of grab my hand uh, you, your hand wouldn't just slip off of it. It wouldn't slip out of your hand. Um, really, it's oiled. Um, I like that idea that uh, comes with some oil on it. And um, BNB, uh, I got to tell them they got to make one that's a BLB. That's my initials. And uh, so anyway, it's a BNB 4045. That's a uh, number on the knife. And it's buck and bear. Knives, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so let's uh, put that away for a moment. And uh, Buck and Bear Knives, uh, that's a sticker. I can see where I peel it right there. So Buck and Bear Knives. And now we have the Buck and Bear Knives uh, lifetime warranty. I did talk to the guy briefly about the warranty. And uh, he said, basically, whatever you do to it, whatever you feel ruined the knife or broke it or, uh, you know, rendered the knife unusable, uh, send it back to us and we'll fix it or send you a new knife. So I like that idea. And uh, so let's see what else we got. Um, and I think this is, uh, this, actually, these are the two that I kind of took a fancy to. So that's kind of cool that he sent me these, um, the knife and, uh, I guess this one opens without the magnet. All right, so we got uh, a leather sheath uh, with a belt loop on it and snaps. That's that's pretty cool. All right, so let's see what they. Uh, yep, that's the one. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of hold still and you look it over good. Uh, it's got a plywood handle and it's kind of a hatchet affair. And uh, it feels to me like it's got good heavy weight on the head, like when you chop, it'd be a good deal. Um, they've got some uh, sanding uh, 
configurations on the plywood, probably to help hold your hand a little bit. Then it comes out like this. You've got your uh, lanyard uh, hole right there. And um, I guess that could be used probably for, I don't know, self-defense, maybe pulling yourself up on a, a cliff or a tree or something. You could probably use this side also. The back that uh, is not sharp, that's a good sixteenth of an inch wide. Yeah, I don't know if I'd make it sharp. Uh, the uh, the hatchet part of it is is actually fairly sharp. It's catching uh, right along. I'm going to have to work on that to make it as sharp as I like them. It's kind of short, pocketable, not exactly pocketable, but put it on your belt. Lightweight, easy to carry, probably, and uh, you know for carving for putting a point on, on a spear, have it up this way, chop, chop, chop. Uh, splitting kindling, um, shaving the bark and stuff off of a stick, that would work good. Um, probably good for a lot of things. We're gonna try that out, we'll go down by the creek or we'll go somewhere where we can chop. Uh, I told him, uh, you're not getting it back um, and it's gonna be dirty and it's gonna be used and I'm gonna make more than one video out of it. So the knife and the uh, hatchet, I'm uh, not sure what they're calling it, but it looks like a hatchet. That's actually sealed. So we're just gonna do it this way. That's kind of nice, they seal it so it can't just come off, okay? Um, they got a pretty nice leather, uh, double stitched up here and here. And then uh, fairly thick, pretty good. So we got the snap there, spread it a little bit, slide that in there, come up here, put that on my belt, belt loop right there. I do kind of wish that it had, oh man, we got a problem here I think. Now this is going to be against my leg so it won't fall out so easy, but I really do think that I'm going to wish that I had kind of a little uh, strap like this around that uh, belt loop right there. Um, and like I say, it is gonna be against my leg, so that'll help hold it. And we're gonna find out, I'm not gonna go too far with it tonight. Uh, we will do another video. I will get a hold of the guys from Buck and Bear. One of them's name Amanda, she's really cute, so Amanda, when you watch this, yeah. All right, um, D2. I imagine is the steel, it says on their D2. Um, D2 is a tool steel, and uh, tool steel is very, very, very hard. It's actually a, a tool steel for milling and lathe work, so that's uh, pretty hard stuff. Uh, I don't know, weight, I'm gonna guess it at about, uh, probably a pound, uh, well, maybe two pounds. I think that's probably going to go about two pounds. We're going to have to find out uh, what it is, uh, whether it's two pounds or not. Tomorrow, maybe I can look it up on uh, on the internet. I'm going to be in uh, Phoenix, Arizona for a show. I get there about nine o'clock, so maybe I have some time to look it up. I've got some other things that I do have to do. But B&B, uh, &B, let's uh, show you the symbol. Okay, it's got like a sword in the middle. Buck and bears. You're kind of jealous of that, aren't you, Brad? Well, you know I am because look at this. Now <laughs> I'm just cool. gonna. <laughs> okay, when yeah. I when I came around the corner and I see their booth, and and I, I see the banner like that. Now I'm just gonna show you this for a second. Now I'm gonna pull it away, and you tell me. So come on in a little bit. All right, there it is. There it's gone. What does it look like? It says on that knife. Ready? <laughs> that's what I thought it said. So anyway, that was pretty cool, cool people. We did an interview, I think that's on already. And that would have been on uh, with the gentleman. I'm sorry, I do not remember his name. I do remember Amanda's name. Uh, actually, very good friend of mine's name, Amanda. And so his name, I don't have any friends with his name. So anyway, this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. And we're going to give you some reviews uh, about the knife and the uh, tool here, the little hatchet, actually feels like it's going to be a pretty good deal. Um, so this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You take care. Stay sharp out there.